Are you starting this one or what? Hello! Oh, there we go. <laughs> we're in. Hello. We're back. We're back. Yeah, we do another podcast. Uh, my name is Rich. And I'm Jake. <laughs> you nearly choke on yeah, your drink now. I love it. Lovely. Uh, boring bit. I'm really sorry. Give us a like. Give us a share. Subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> there we go. Give us Please. a like. Give us a subscribe. Um, anyway. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Good. I'm lovely. Wicked. I'm fantastic. Yeah. Uh, another week down. Another, another week, week gone. Down. Working hard. Another week older. Another week closer to death. But um, Lovely. Working no. hard. Oh, hardly working. That's what they're saying. Oh. Uh, but no, um, one of my friends uh, has just passed his driving test. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. To you. said friend. <laughs> Air quotations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my finger trick. That's gross. Um, so yeah, congratulations. Um, but then it got me thinking about my test. Okay. Um, now this is a bit of a competition for me. I'm a very competitive person. Go on then. Now, how long? How many tries did it take you to pass your driving test? Really? Yeah. One. Honestly. One. One. Yeah. You're first one time. as well. First time, mate. First time. Did you? Yeah. Nice. They say okay. it's worse actually to pass first time because then you don't Why? learn from your mistakes. Oh, you see, my dad always told me this. My dad, my dad taught me to drive. Yeah. And he always said, "You don't learn to drive until you pass your test." Hmm. Which is not great to tell me while I'm learning to drive. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't passed your test. How many minors then? How many minors is it? You no, 12 minors. Eight. Eight, eight minors. I always think that because 12 is the maximum until it turns into a major. I, I don't know anymore. I can't remember. It's been, it's been so long that since was like I did my, my driving test. I, like, I got 12. I can do as many as I want. Do you want to know how many I got? How many? Two. Two minors. Yeah, you've been in the car with me. I'm amazing. Yeah, terrified. But yeah, um, <laughs> thanks. But like the driving test, it, it was the first ever exam, right? That I sat, right? That I passed first time. Really? Honestly, yeah. Nice. From GCSEs to A levels to everything, sats. Every <laughs> sats, whatever. Every time I sat an exam, the first yeah. one I did. You know when you do your mock exams? Yeah. <laughs> the first time, <laughs> absolute poop. It was like ease. And they were like, oh, you're projected E's for like your A levels. And then oh, I'd get no. C's the next time. So then I think it's because I was like, I want to impress these guys. But I don't want to impress them too early. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to save a little bit, keep a little bit in the tank. Yeah. And then finish the race like that. Okay. So but, is, that, uh, is that how it ended for you? Like the, were they kind of your results around A, E's and C's? Uh yes, <laughs> I got C D E. Well, I mean, like for me, with what I do now, qualifications. Sorry, kids. If any, if there are any kids listening, mean for me absolutely nothing. Nah, zilch. But when I was at school, this is God's honest truth story. I we had to do a written German exam. Like mm. I was learning German, we had to do a written exam, and I I can't speak German. Like I did it for years at school. Did five years of it. I can't speak a word of it. I can say hello. That's kind of where it ends. Oh, I can say, I'm a grosser beer bitter. Which means, can I have a large beer, please? Yes. And my dad taught me that. That's so all the, you need. That's all you need. But, so I, I thought, we were doing a written exam, and I thought, right, I, I need to pass this. Yeah. So I'm going to pre-write what I need to do, and I'm going to balance it on my lap where the teacher can't see. Right? So I can just copy off what I've written already. I thought, I need to be clever. So what I decided to do was put a few mistakes in it already to make it seem realistic. Right. However, I put too many mistakes in it and failed. <laughs> <laughs> so I so I still had to reset the exam. In and the, in the end, the way my teacher helped me do it, and again this is absolutely true, is we were allowed Instead of writing a whole essay in German, I was allowed to write a sentence at a time, have it marked before I moved on to the next sentence. My God. That's really bad, isn't it? Um, really bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I knew, I knew kids who got that sort of special treatment. Oh. But, um, so, yeah, speaking of exams, right, I, know, I now know teachers, and yeah. like, because I'm older, and like, yeah, <laughs> I, said, I added er uh, at the end, I was just going to say old, but I'm really not. I'm old. to you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm older now, so you, you get to know teachers and like teachers st sort of start forming around you. Like, this weird <laughs> atmosphere, yeah. Okay. And um, and then one thing that teachers can do, I'm pretty sure they could do back back when I was at school, is they can, they can, in oh, what's the word? They can invigilate an exam. Right, okay. So they can come and stand in 
and sort of make sure that nobody's cheating, they walk around, and yeah. they help you with pens and pencils and calculators and whatever. Yeah. Although that didn't help with English literature. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Um, the only word I could ever write on a calculator was boobless. Boobless. <laughs> Longest word you can write on a calculator. The only word I think I um, But yeah, and what, a game, right? Because obviously this was incredibly boring for teachers and for anybody oh. who was an invigilator, right? But a game that they used to play... No. Honestly. I think right, I know what you're going to say. ...was... Uh, there was a few. There was um, Go Stand By The Ugliest Kid, oh, right? Yeah. And uh, he had a swarm of people standing around me. Wait, <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute, I remember three teachers standing <laughs> by me doing, doing a science down, exam. Like, pointing down like this. Oh, dear. Um, then, then, right, and this, I heard this uh, from a friend of mine, and this is one of the most upsetting ones I've ever heard in my life. Oh, no. It was Go Stand By The Person Who You Think Has The Saddest Home Life. Oh my god! How is that even appropriate? <laughs> like that's like that's really delving deep into these person's like psyche. Like you know, they, like they obviously you know you can <clears throat> working with such children as I have done in the past. There is a certain smell of neglect that you, can, <laughs> that you, uh, you get from these people. Yeah. And, you know, it is unfortunate, but you can you can tell these people apart. And 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 that was honestly when I heard that I was like that is. Absolutely awful. These people, teachers, you should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been more shocked in my life. And these are the people that teach your children. Don't let it happen. That's awful. It's terrible, isn't it? And they, they, but they played these games all the time. Like ugliest kid, the kid with the biggest head. You know, the the kid with the eyes furthest apart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which kid most looks like an alien. Yeah, like a kid with the fewest teeth. I don't know, like that, stuff like that. And um, but that was purely to to get them through the exam. Now, with my maths exam, still yeah. haven't passed it. Five Ds. Nice. I don't know why I'm oddly proud of that, ladies. Um, <laughs> I finished my maths exam half an hour early, <sighs> and I thought that's a good sign. I've done really well here. <laughs> um, yeah, completely. I think I got a U on that one. That went well. Um, yeah, really well. <laughs> um, but I spent the last uh, bit of it drawing. Right. And then as I left, I handed the invigilator my paper. But, like, you hand it, like, uprightly. you know, like, you got to leave it upright. But I was so proud of this drawing because it took me half an hour to do this. I was like, no, I'm going to break the rules. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, no. Look at this work of art. And it was, you know, that's the proudest moment of any maths exam I've had. Can I ask, this was a maths exam. Yeah. Can I ask what you drew? Can you remember? Uh, it was uh, some sort of war. <laughs> <laughs> a war on maths. I had, I had the different mindset for the wrong test. It was, yeah, it was odd. Oh. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a test taker. I'm not. No. I'll tell you what I used to do at school. I don't know if anyone else did this. See, when I was at school, I had a mini disc player. That's how old I am. I had a oh, mini disc yes, player. Do you remember then? Yes, of course. But I used to... This is terrible again. Because I did this in class and I did it in my exams as well. Mm. Sorry if any teachers are listening. But I would run my headphones down my sleeve of my mm. school jumper and then sit there like with my my ear in my hand listening to Michael Jackson <laughs> <laughs> throughout my exams. Anything that gets you through a test. Oh, right? dear. I was... Right. I was terrible. It's just not good. I don't think. No. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's um, accumulative to all the learning that you do. Taking one test, I think it needs to be spread out over. But that's that's the serious part of that conversation. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You I know, also think, little though. bit of message for you. <laughs> Let's not do so many exams. Yeah. Let's just chill out. <laughs> Let's just chill out, man. Let's chill out. Zen. Live in peace. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, though. I think when you're at school, you learn so much stuff that you don't need. Right? Do you remember learning in maths? Again, maths. Pythagoras. Right. I have never looked at a ladder leaning against the tree since and gone, I wonder what that angle up there is. Yeah. No, I've never I, done I, that. I get what you mean, right? But then yeah. everybody's like, I'm not going to use trigonometry. Nobody ever uses trigonometry. Trigonometry is for idiots, right? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Neither do I, right? <laughs> not a clue. But my dad, right, when he was building our patio... Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was okay. like, nobody, nobody uses trigonometry anymore. And he's like, well, actually, I use trigonometry to make the patio. He doesn't talk like that. Right, but okay. still, like, and that's, you know, you can use it, 
But as a videographer slash photographer slash... Um, well, as an unemployed person, I definitely don't use person. it. Nobody, we don't use it. No. There's only certain jobs that you use it and, you know, not so many exams. So no, peace. definitely then, not. Yeah. But you know you were talking, you know you were talking earlier about the teachers going and standing by people. <laughs> yeah. I, I do that in the street though. Do you ever play the game in the street, spot the celebrity? But it's not a real celebrity. Lookalike. Yeah, a yeah. lookalike. However, a few weeks ago I was in London and I saw a real celebrity. It was a football manager, Premier League football manager. <gasps> oh, right. Right? And, oh, this is embarrassing. I felt embarrassed because he looked right at me and I looked at him. And in my head, I went, my God, I know you. But what came out of my mouth was, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in my life. <laughs> I just, like... I've, if I went up to anybody else in the middle of the street and went, whoa, <laughs> they would just think I was nuts. Like, I, I, I think that would have put a smile on his face, though. I think if, if, if somebody walked past me and went, whoa, like that, I'd be well impressed. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be happy with that. I'd wonder what the hell was going on. Well, yes, I did used to get that, though. <laughs> <laughs> because I had a, a horrible, I looked like one of the Beatles back in the 60s. It was a big old bowl. <laughs> of what your hair oh, cut yeah <laughs> oh dear that's not we good we don't talk about those times no definitely not but definitely right. not okay I'm gonna we're gonna yeah. finish right okay. we're, we're gonna finish in the same way that we finished last time oh no now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game if you didn't watch last time it's very easy listen sorry if you didn't listen last time it's really easy it's uh so basically I'm gonna quick fire some questions at Rich now yeah Last time we tried it with his first name R. Yeah. So he picks the letter because his name begins with R. So, and then I fire a load of questions at him and it's, you know, animal, R, you know, raccoon, whatever. Yeah, I've got to right? say something that begins so with that letter. So we were, <clears throat> we were thinking, right, he didn't do very well last time. If you listened, you'll absolutely know. So we're <laughs> going to give him, we're gonna, you know, you get your choice of letters. This, this is take time. two. This is take two of this game. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I, let's let's go easy. I'm going to start with the first letter of the alphabet, A. <laughs> I'm glad you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one you're getting right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm really good at. I'm, I'm good at art. I'm really as good well. at words. I'm good at art, and art. I'm good at counting. There right? you go. And I'm also really good at painting by numbers. So you know, <laughs> I just put the two put together. Put the two together, <laughs> and that's it. Terrible that's joke. I'm so sorry. That's where your skills lie, in this tiny little box. Yeah. Paint by numbers. Right, okay. So, are you ready? Yeah. Go on then. Okay. Yep. A, the letter A. I've got a say stuff a. that starts with A. Really easy. All right. Right. Boy's name. Andrew. Girl's name. Andrea. Animal. Aardvark. Food. An apple. True. <laughs> I can't believe I did. You didn't need I had, No, I didn't need that and at the start. No. Right, okay. That was what you but, were doing pretty well. But right? the thing is, because I've picked A, like... On the back burner of my brain, yeah. I've got, like, a cup, a tree, <laughs> just so that no matter what you say, I've got an answer. All right, right. You, you did, right. You did B pretty well. Yeah, I was going to say, you did pretty well. We're going to promote you. Let's do All B. Right. All right. Go on, B. Let's give if B you a you start go. going, but potato. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not going to do that. Right, okay, so. Go on. Boy's name. Brian. Girl's name. Betty. Animal. Buffalo. Drink. Brandy. Food. Burger. Holiday. Brazil. <gasps> oh, what did you find in the bathroom? Bog. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reason to be late for work? The bus. I mean, it's there at the start. But <laughs> no, I'm I getting like there. It. Yes, you're very good. Movie. Uh, and <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> All I could think was Hogwarts, and that's not even a movie. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, I am terrible at that. Before right. we finish, it's your turn. All right, okay. But you're going to go with your the, the letter of your name, J. J. All right. For, for Jake. <laughs> um, okay, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. I've had to write these down, because not right. only am I crap at the answers, you're I'm crap at asking the questions. Them. <laughs> right, there you go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we, I wish we had like a... A clock that we could like the countdown clock. You ready? I've got ten questions. If you make it to ten, like you just you win life. Yeah. So are you ready? Mm. J. Yeah. A country. Jamaica. A food. Juju beans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll accept it. A boy's name. James. A girl's name. Jasmine. Something in a house. 
Jumper. Nice one. I like that one. <laughs> Something outside. Jake. Uh, what? When he's having a cigarette. Jake outside when he's having, Jake a, cigarette. When he's having a cigarette. I'll let you have it. Oh, a right. planet. Jupiter. Nice. A colour. Jade green. <laughs> Jade green. Yeah. Something you wear. Jumper. And your final one. Something you find in a shop. Jumper. <laughs> you, you can't use you, you jumper three times. What do I find in the shop? Uh, jumping jack jumping game. Rope. <laughs> jumping, jumping rope. Jumping rope. Right, some of those answers are a yeah. bit sketchy, but please. Uh, yeah, let's let's practice this game for next oh, time. Have yeah. you just thought of an no, answer? No, 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 it's good. No, carry on for next time. Yeah, yeah. right. That's next time. Uh, thanks for listening. Don't forget like, subscribe, and please share it wherever you can. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. And Jews.